Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO live stream. Uh, just got back from school, so I was like, eh, why not stream? Kind of in the mood uh, to live stream. Don't know why, I just kind of feel like streaming. There's not much else really going on right now for me, so it's like, eh, might as well crack open the old OBS, go streaming for a bit. Actually, one of the other reasons why I do want to stream is actually to maybe come up with more deck ideas. If you guys have any cool decks in mind, let me know. Because decks right now are kind of like... It's kind of hard for me to find decks to play right now just because there's not that many to play. But I am excited to stream. It's going to be streaming for however long I want. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, I guess while we wait for some people to get in, I'm going to edit this Venusaur deck that I built. Because I actually kind of took the bot potion and uh, forgot to throw in net balls into the deck instead of cherish balls. So we're actually going to remove the cherish ball altogether. We're going to play three net balls. Actually, we can probably take out energy spinner too. We're going to go four net balls. Uh, we're going to cut down to two customs. And I really want to throw in an Absol into this deck. So as you guys hopefully know, this uh, Venusaur deck is what I was is today's video. And I'm an idiot and I forgot to add in a few cards like net ball. Some people pointed that out. Uh, we'll take out the Judge, Throne of Center Lady. Yo, Jonathan, uh, the Drapion deck. Uh, Drapion's interesting. Uh, it might be better in Expanded, though, in Standard. That's kind of the only issue and why I haven't really done a uh, video on Drapion yet. Uh, but decent idea, for sure. Uh, I'm just trying to see what else we could add. I wouldn't mind adding Mixed Herbs. We could take out the Customs all together and throw in like a couple Mixed Herbs if we really wanted to. Um, I want to run more Healing cards. Let's throw in a third Bill. I think we should throw in Bill. And actually, Coach Trainer could go in this deck too. I completely forgot that Coach Trainer even existed. So we should probably throw in uh, Coach into the deck. Right, there we go. Two Coach Trainers, three belt. There we go. Now that is an updated list for Venusaur. Now that's looking a little bit spicier and a little bit better. Hey, a stream. Uh, gives me something to watch while I work on cosplay. Yo, Carmelo, welcome to the stream, dude. And um, hope your day's going well. But yeah, just streaming some decks. If you guys you know, have any deck ideas, deck suggestions, we can build some decks on stream. Just because it's kind of hard to build decks right now because I don't really know what the heck to make videos on. Um, but we're going to play some Venusaur Welder, which is today's video. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure to do so. Poor Coach Trainer Full Art. Yes, Marcos. I have basically just tried to bling myself out on this game as much as I can. Uh, just because it's really nice to be able to kind of flex. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna be playing whatever. Uh, there's actually another deck I had to had in mind to make. It's actually gonna be a Luxio uh, Mareep Slumbering Forest deck. This was a funny little idea that I came up with in class. It was Luxio with Slumbering Forest. It's kind of a budget build. So actually, we'll we'll make this deck before we kind of find some games. Um, we'll play like four Mareeps. We'll play. We definitely want Luxray in the deck. We should probably play like two Luxrays. Um, we'll try to make this more like budget friendly. So we'll just throw in all the normal necessity stuff. See how this goes. But Luxray with with things should be fun. We'll throw in a few Zapdos. I actually think Zapdos would be a good card to play in this deck too. Play two of those. Um, so yeah, pretty much the idea of this deck when I constructed it in my mind was you want to play Slumbering Forest with Disconnect and Electro Powers and yeah, that's pretty much the idea. It's a pretty straightforward deck. You just kind of go here, play four E powers and uh, we're just basically trying to item lock them and have them stay asleep the entire game. That's the idea of the deck. Just want to play U-turn boards. I want to play like three of them. If I can find where all these U turn boards are hiding. There we go. I need to get another full art U turn board actually. We'll probably just throw in a Coco. If you guys have any other ideas for what could be added into this deck, let me know. Let me know. Yes, yeah, Z indeed. Z indeed, Jonathan. This is pretty much a sleep deck. Um, Alright, we should probably have the energies. So we'll play, I think. But, ooh, I didn't even really change the uh, the shiny look of unit energy. I didn't even realize. All right, we'll throw in five lightning and we'll play maybe three, two or three memory energies because we need memory energy for Luxray. I think we'll do that. Play like three memories, five lightning. Uh, what else could we put in here? If you guys have any other ideas 
for what could be added in this deck, let me know. If you guys have any other cool lightning attackers that can go in here. I mean, we could also play like Rare Candy Ampharos if we really wanted to. I don't hate that idea. Uh, I will take out a Zapdos then. Maybe, maybe we don't even really need Zapdos. I guess there's actually Zerkatree. Yeah, Zerkatree's probably better than Zapdos. We'll throw in Ampharos. We'll play that Zerkatree here with this. Seems good. Then I guess we can go two memories, six lightning. We want to play all of our supporters. Got to remember that. We'll throw in like one rare candy. And we need to play Pokecoms. Kind of wish we had more Pokemon search. We could actually play a friend ball because if we run it a Pika Rom. Yeah, let's play a friend ball. If we run it a Pika Rom, we'll have an answer to that. Off topic, but what's the next set to release? Uh, Cosmic Eclipse is going to be the next set, which is going to feature Remix Bout, Dream League, and Alter Genesis, which there's like, I think, nine new tag teams. There's a new Reshi Rom card, which is going to be absolutely busted. Now we're throwing in Erica. What else could be put in here? There's a lot we could run. Reset Stamp would actually be good. Um... We could throw in Lusamine actually. Yeah, let's put we can put Lusamine so we can get back the uh, Slumbering Forest. Sweet, yeah, it's gonna be a really good set. There's actually a lot of good cards in the set. There's um, Great Catcher, Reshiram, GX, um, RCS Dialga, Palkia Tag Team, Lopunny, and uh, Jigglypuff is also pretty good. It's a pretty good set. There's honestly a lot of good cards coming. All right, what else could we add? So yeah, we're trying to make this budget friendly. What else could be put in here? I guess we need tools for Luxio. I don't really know what tools we could play. We should probably throw in two Lusamine. Um, we could play Crushing Hammers. I mean, I don't really think that's needed. Uh, I guess we should throw in, oh no, yeah, we need Switch for Mareep. Yeah, that's right. We should probably play Three switches. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll go with this for now. This is this is how the Luxio list is looking. We could probably take out one of the Luxray Zone, in all honesty, but it's good to have it because we can go Intimidating Fang and Volpul could be a nice closer to the game. Hello, you take expansion suggestions? Oh, so, yeah, of course. Of course, Ahmed, if you have any ex uh, suggestions for any expanded decks I could do, I am definitely looking for some suggestions for expanded. Any format is fine. I know I've had a lot of suggestions for a Medicham Dojo deck. We might build that on stream today. So what tools could be put in here? What tools would be good for Luxio? There's nothing really to run. I guess like maybe we could play like Giant Bomb. Hustle Belt maybe. I don't know. Let's this is roll with what we got here for the Luxio Luxio list. Luxio Z I got look that. Well let's we'll name it this. Z's. So we'll play the Venusaur Welder deck. We'll play the Luxio deck. And, uh, yeah, we'll take deck suggestions, too. We can maybe build them on stream, and uh, they can become videos in the future, which is pretty sick. So that'll be fun. I don't know how good this Luxio deck will be, though, in all honesty, but you know what? The idea came to my mind. I have that I grind with it. Yes, yeah, it's a good deck. All right, let's play some Venusaur Welder. I'm on a four-win streak here, so I don't really want to lose it. But uh, we'll see how we do with the Venusaur deck. We are up against the Fire deck. Oh, well, it actually might be Mew 3 instead, which, I mean, they have Rushy's art, I guess, which is pretty bad. Which is still pretty bad regardless of uh, the thing. Let's see if we win the coin flip. No, we do not. We'll see how this game goes. I'm excited to play this updated build, because I actually forgot to run Netball on the deck. I thought I had Apps on the deck too, but I actually didn't. Uh, we actually do have a bad opening hand, though. We have no way to find Venusaur, unfortunately. We'll see what we can do here. My opponent's going to actually start with that Marsh Shadow. So we can maybe knock that out. I don't think this matchup is bad. It's just going to be down to whether or not they find their Rush Ram and Charizard. Because Rush Ram and Charizard is going to be a bit of a bit of a pain because it's a fire type. We have to find our Cherim or our Weak Guard energy at the right time. There's a Dedenne. So we'll uh, see what they get here. They're just getting one energy on the Mewtwo, which is pretty good. And they're actually going to go straight into the Mewtwo. They're not messing around. 
So there's no way I can actually pull off a... Um, the only way it would be possible is research stamp. There's no way I can pull off the Venusaur play. If I could, it'd be really nice to be able to just Venusaur the Mewtwo and Pollen Hazard it early on. We'll see what happens, though. I mean, if they reset stamped me, it would have been possible, but nope. Yeah, this is pretty bad. We have to hope we find a netball off this bill, which we don't. Awesome. So I just lost my win streak. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see your win streaks lost just because you can't find what you're looking for. Rip the dream. Oh, that is really annoying. That is very, very annoying, actually. Uh, we'll see what we run into next on PDCGO. It is what it is. PDCGO is really bad sometimes. We're up against another fire deck. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Looks like we're playing against Greensart too. I mean, as long as we find Charm and Weak Guard Energy, I'm okay. But we'll see how this goes. My opponent's going to let me go first, so definitely playing Greensart. Oh, there's Charm. Okay, so we do actually have the... Um, we do have the uh, turn two chair, which is pretty nice, actually. Mixed herbs is kind of annoying, though, because they can just actually get rid of my pollen hazard effect. Ooh, Pokecom top deck. Okay, so we'll get the Cherubi. Do we have weak guard energy? We do. Get that Cherubi. Play him down. Go here. I don't really know what I need to do at this point. I think I just pass. No other Welder play is unfortunate. But we don't have Denny in the deck. Keldeo might be useful too, though. I mean, the fire matchup is just really bad regardless. Oh, no, they're not playing Green Dredge here. They're playing a Salazzle in their deck. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't really know how I feel about that in the deck, but okay. Because that cancels out their green. And without their green, their deck is just not as good, you know? Just not as good. I mean, the Giant Hearth is good. If we can draw a Welder here, we can do a turn two Pollen. But I'd rather Pollen this thing. So we'll see. This is going to be a bit of a tricky game, though, to win, guys. That is for sure. This is definitely not going to be easy. It's really going to come down to if Cherubi gets knocked out. My opponent could also go for a double blaze next turn. We drew a Gardenia that's not really helping too much. Can't even attack. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. There's nothing I can do. Our hand was terrible. We are going to get 60 coins, though. Hooray! Yay for 60 coins. We just need to not run into a fire deck, and we can uh, get better matches with our little Venusaur deck here. Short bus. All right, let's see what he's playing. Trying to find the link to the stream, by the way, so I can tweet it out that I'm live so that more people can join. I don't know if anyone's streaming on Twitch right now, but I don't know. Ah, no turn of welder. Maybe Poke Gear needs to be added to this deck then. We have Jirachi, though. We we're just unable to really find the Jirachi, so I don't really know what to tell you. We'll see what we can do with this hand, though. We have no Pokemon. Alright, he's playing, it looks like Whimsicott, which he'll be interesting he does unfortunately have that potential lola nine tails which i actually have no way to deal with so i'm just going to concede again yeah okay this venusaur deck is not working for some reason even though yesterday it was working in the video when i was recording but nope the uh the venusaur deck does not seem to be wanting to be good today which is unfortunate so we'll just keep finding more games until we can actually get a good game with the deck where the deck actually decides to draw well and work work in my favor so we're against Pikaram here, a matchup that I think is favorable. It's 50-50. It's a 50-50-ish matchup. And we got a Shaman Cherubi start. Once again, a terrible opening hand. This deck has been not working. Yo, yo, Madsen. Yo, how you doing, dude? Welcome to the live stream. And I, yeah, as you can see, I'm playing the Venusaur deck. I saw your comment. Yeah, I forgot to add Netball. But now in the list that I'm playing right now on stream, there's Netball in the deck. So there you go. Sadly, though, it looks like this game is going to be cut short because our start is pretty lackluster, to say the least. Our start ain't looking good. Maybe I should add Poke Gear to the deck. I don't really know. We have no energy, though, with the Welder, so it's like it's a bad combo. I don't know. I think this Pika matchup is good, but our opening hand is not so good. Our opening hand is not so good to kind of help us here. 
New animation. Didn't even see that. Wow. Oh, they're actually going to judge me. Okay, this might give me a new hand and a better hand. Well, I knew it is giving me a new hand, but it's going to give me a better hand, hopefully. I'll take it. We have a welder. We have an energy. That's all that matters. They did find a switch for their Jirachi, which is a little annoying. We're looking to get Absalom to play, too. Have you thought about trying Giratina Bats Expanded? I don't think it necessarily competes with other decks. Mew 3, but it could be fun. Yeah, I saw someone comment about that on the Mew 3 Bats video I did. I didn't really consider Giratina, so I could definitely build that deck for sure in today's stream. There's a Coach Trainer top deck. All right, that's good. All right, let's go Welder. You got no energy in play, which is nice. And all right, we'll just pass. Venusaur makes me sad. Yo, Andy, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Yeah, Venusaur, it's it's a funny card. Back when it was good, it was one of the most annoying cards ever, but now it's kind of just a meme, or it's just lackluster. Another judge. Okay, my opponent is judging me today. I mean, really, we just need an energy and a switching card. Well, no energy, but we can always build. Build? The dream build would be energy, or like a Viridian, Giant Hearth, slash a switch, like an escape order, a switch. I mean, I don't really mind the Pika Brown hitting me first. I do want to get my Absol into play so this Jirachi doesn't have that Fruit Retreat cost either, which is going to be something we're trying to do. I'm fine with him judging me. I mean, as long as we're drawn into good hands, we're fine. But yeah, everyone stopping into the stream today. Thank you. I do appreciate it. But yeah, as the title says, if you guys have any deck suggestions, I you know would consider taking them on today's stream to build video decks for videos. Pretty simple. All right, let's see what we draw. Okay, we got another energy. We can attach that here. We'll build. We do find a switch. And we also got a buff padding. I think we'll take that. I mean, the center lady actually wouldn't be bad either in case he goes for like a tandem shock. I don't think he will though. We'll knock out the Jirachi. So no Absol. That's kind of unfortunate. It would have been nice to maybe get a Pokecom there to get an Absol into place. This Jirachi doesn't have that free retreat cost. Still though, they have three cards in their hand. You never know. They might not even pull off a full blitz this turn. See what we draw. We got energy. All right, so we can at least go for Solar Beam. I mean, Giratina Garchomp, by the way, not the discard Giratina. Yeah, yeah, I know, Giratina Garchomp. Um, I don't, if, if I were to build the Bats Giratina Garchomp deck, though, what, what do you think would be good with the deck? Because, like, Giratina Garchomp is a little hard to build up because it has different types of energy. I'd have to play with Malamar. I'd have to maybe run Mew 3 with, like, Dimension Valley. Do you think maybe it'd be better with, say, like, um, you know, Max Elixir, maybe? Double Dragon Energy? Oh, yeah, Double Dragon Energy. <laughs> yeah, so what do you think would be the best way to play the Garchomp Giratina Bat deck? I actually like that idea. It's pretty cool. Uh, how do you think it should play, though? All right, there's a Volkner. They still have no energy in the discard pile. Yeah, you get access to Double Dragon. Yeah, I forgot. See what my opponent gets here. If they don't full blitz me, that'd be really nice. I don't really care if they really do, though. Update the team up baby Charizard Meganium deck. I had that built, but like I ended up scrapping it because the Meganium really doesn't add much to the deck. Even though you can like Brock's Grid and then infinite rare candy thanks to Meganium's ability. I didn't really like it. I actually found that the Charizard Firebox deck played a little bit better. But I do have a few Meganium decks I uh, am looking into. Double Dragon is with, say I've seen it built. Yeah. I was working on a list for it, but I'm not really sure yet. You can also scoop a spec to nine prizes. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Scoop up Cyclone with bats. We do find a Cherim. Okay. We'll build. Okay. Tough decision. Actually, it would have been nice to get the double custom to bring this up. I think I'm going to take the Great Potion and the Gardenia. Or the Center Lady, actually. Just in case he goes for a Raichu Raichu. Alright, Jirachi's off the board. We don't really need the Absol anymore. Yeah, we'll build the uh, Giratina Garchomp deck soon. Uh, after this game, I think I'm going to do another game with a different deck that I have in mind, which is going to be my, um, what's the deck called? My Luxio Slumbering Forest deck. I'm going to try a game with that and see how the deck plays, and then I'll uh, build that Giratina Garchomp deck. Be, eh, we'll go from there. We shall go from there. All right, let's see if my, 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 bleh, can't talk today. What my opponent has here. They're definitely going to full blitz me here, which is fine. We can remove all the damage they do to us. We have 320 HP. They're going to need a, uh, uh, what's it called? 
Lysander Labs, if they really want to get a KO, it's possible. If they get enough Electro Powers in Lysander Labs, they could knock out Tag Bolt. They do have two E-Powers. So that's not good. They still need one more E-Power, even if they get the Lysander Labs Double Tails. You love to see it. And they're going to custom me. Nice. Full Blitz, 210. They're still doing a lot, so it looks like we're actually going to have to evergreen them here. Yo, what's up? I'm at the uh, car auto shop getting an oil change and i see you're on you see you're on how's it going yo it's going good mini how you doing dude thanks for stopping by on the stream um okay so this is definitely the turn where we have to go for our gx move evergreen we're not going to get back much i mean i would like to i could play these great potions and then get them back but i'd rather hold on to them i think we'll play that down just in case he does judge me again should probably play down the other Venus Orb too. Alright. Getting back those bills is pretty good. We have the custom in our hand. And if he goes for tandem shock, we can just heal that with Center Lady. And then we can maybe custom for like three cards. Go from there. Seems good. We'll see what my opponent's able to do here. This match is definitely going to be a little tricky, I think. He's already burned two E powers, though, which is good, and we removed all the damage he did to us. We didn't get the best evergreen. We weren't able to get back a lot of our healing cards, but that is fine. Looks like he's going to go for Tag Bolt. I mean, he could knock out the Shaman. He could hit the other Venusaur if he really wanted to. Because he's burned those E-Powers, though, I don't think he can get a KO. It's actually impossible, even if he gets the uh, if he gets the Lysner Labs in play. We still have 10 HP remaining from a Tag Bolt with two E-Powers. Looks like he's going for Dedene. Yep. It is possible to fully heal ourselves. If we fully heal ourselves here, this game is like pretty much over, in my opinion. Because I'm assuming he's going for Tag Bolt. He can knock out the Shaman, which, you know, rip the Shaman. You lived a long life. He could hit double hit the Venusaur, though, which I think is what he's going to do. Thunder Mountain. Okay, that's one less stadium. He could go Zapdos, maybe. We can draw on my other customer bill. We can try to knock this thing out. If we knock out that Picarom, that's going to be really big. Because I do want to save the Center Lady for when he tries to tandem me. But he's actually going to judge me. This could be big if we don't find access to Center Lady. And he goes for Raichu, Raichu. We don't get the center lady. We don't even have an energy for the other Venusaur. Okay, he's going to tag bowl me. That's fine. We don't have any healing cards, though, which is bad. We are taking three prizes, and then we just need one prize to win the game. Sadly, our hand ain't looking good. It's going. I just like to swing by and uh, always like to give support to you. I'm always, I always tell people, uh, I'm always tell people on my Twitch stream to check you out because you have great tech ideas. Thank you, Mini. And yeah, shout out to Mini UK English, guys. Okay, so. We're in a bit of a pickle right now. This guy is spamming Judge, which is super annoying. And now our hand is absolute trash. Hmm. Mm, we can't play Welder. We don't have a way to play the Welder either. Hmm. No energy for this guy is pretty bad. We'll put the Kelio back. Get Jirachi. I could retreat into the Jirachi, maybe. Should I retreat into Jirachi? Or should I just take a kill? I honestly think I should just take the kill. We already have the Welder, so we can set up good enough. We can just do Pollen Hazard, which works perfectly fine to me. Do you have any... Uh, do you have an all-time favorite deck? Uh, yeah, Vilegar. Or Vilegar, or um, there's a Viridian Knight Nice. So we, as long as he doesn't reset stamina to one, we should be able to return with a Pollen Hazard. Yeah, my favorite deck is either Vilegar or possibly even um, I don't know. There's way too many decks to choose from, but yeah, I would probably say something like Vilegar. All right, just a Zapdos knock. Oh no, he's going for the Tandem Shock. All right, no reset stamp is really good as long as we don't draw poorly we'll be okay we can still win this game it's gonna be a little actually i still has customs ah we lost we lost cheers buddy how you doing have you tried a deck with eight different tag teams hat ladies uh unit rainbows no i haven't i have tried the tag team box deck though with um with uh what's his face with uh the porygon z and that was pretty fun so we probably just lose. I don't really think we can win at this point. We'd have to like reset stamp him the one to win this game, I think. Okay, here we go. All right, well, Viridian. 
have to get welder. See if we can maybe find a giant heart. Okay, we did find the reset stamp. That's a good. That, that's a start. That's a start from preventing us from losing. It's just down to when he finds two customs though to knock something out on the bench and we'll weld there. So unfortunately, we weren't able to get the pollen hazard off. That's fine though. We might be able to buy some time. We'll see. We have two great potions, so we can heal some of the damage he does. And before I just reset stamped him into the three in the two customs he needs. I wouldn't be surprised because my custom my reset stamps never work, unfortunately. We might be able to close this game out. We'll see. It's gonna be a little tough though, I think. It's really down to can we find our energy at the right moment. So no, did I actually okay, I was gonna say, did I seriously reset stamp into two customs like I called it? Like bruh. <laughs> What do you mean? Let's see what he gets. He could go to Dene. He really just needs to hit those customs. He's getting a switch in energy. I mean, the only way I can see me winning if you bench something with low HP I can bring up. Fiery Flint might mean might be needed to be added in this deck too. I don't really know. There's the Dene. So all he needs to do is find a cust two customs and he wins. He has 10 cards left in the deck. Let's see. Does he find the two custom catchers? Nope. He's going for Raichu. Uh-oh. This ain't good. We need, to, we need to hit center lady here in order to prevent ourselves from losing. No, we didn't find it. All right. We can heal a good amount of damage, which is good, but this game ain't looking very good, guys. We just weren't really able to get all the healing cards we really needed, I think, to close this game out. And once he finds two customs, we lose. Okay, we got another energy, which is good. We can weld or swivel, and that's nice. Oh, if he didn't have Lysander Labs, I could have went for Jirachi. Ah, that's unfortunate. Don't think he can win this turn, though, unless he finds two customs. I don't know, we tried it, we tried and we cried. We just needed to take one more prize. We weren't really able to find much because of those judges. He just kept judging me into really awkward bad hands. But whatever. I mean, we could draw a stadium. We could try to center Lady out of this and then Pollen Hazard him, which then won't even help us. Yeah, that's game. And nothing we can do, that's pretty unfortunate. All right, we'll switch over to this Luxio deck that I have. I don't really know how good the deck is, but we'll try this Luxio deck. Where the heck is it? There it is. So we'll play some Luxio Slumbering Forest Mareep, and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. I like the meta with Ultra Ball Gusting Gone. It makes it uh, interesting, but the sad thing is I feel like I'm facing the same three decks, Pekin Robbers, Zero, Mute 3, the same three with a little twist. Yeah, the format's kind of boring right now, in my opinion, but all formats are usually like that. Once the big decks get established, the format's usually a little stale and dry. Um, I don't know if I'd prefer this format over the Zoark format. It's kind of tough. Zoark was a annoying deck to play against because there's like 50 billion versions of it. Uh, but the main problem with this format is that fire is not very easy to counter right now. There's not really any like amazing water decks. Like, okay, well, there is... Obviously, like Quagneg. Quagneg is a big deck that can take down, you know, some of these fire decks. But like, in my opinion, fire is just a little too ridiculously strong right now. I've seen some people make the argument that like Welder is a really a dumb card and it shouldn't have been printed. People complain about Welder, but the problem is, even if Welder wasn't a thing and say Welder never existed, fire types wouldn't be as good as they are. And then Picarom would be the best deck, and then people would complain about how good Lightning is. So it's like you can't really win with this format, in my opinion. That'll always happen. Even though the big deck may be big and it might be overpowered, you know, in people's eyes, it doesn't really matter because people are always going to complain about what's big. Well, he's playing a Terrakian deck. Interesting. Terrakian Spirit Tomb's an interesting deck. All right, well, Cynthia, you're right. Yeah, exactly. Now, I, I personally think Welder is a pretty ridiculously strong card. Yeah, it definitely is, like, really, really good, obviously. It, it's one of those cards that maybe it shouldn't have been printed, but, I mean... Fire, as long as we just get better water types that can counter them, we'll be okay. Tag teams over central. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Tag teams are so good that they they just kind of overshadow all the non poke non GX. Like the only non GX decks that are good is just like Quagnag and I mean really that's about it. Yeah, I mean tag teams are really OP. 
they definitely kind of ruin the format a little bit. And there's not really like any good tag anti counter tag team Pokemon other than like Rampardos, Beedrill, and obviously like there's the Stinger combo. Yo, Smoke Knight, what's up? You doing uh, any expanded decks soon with the expanded regionals coming up? Yeah, I am actually going to, after probably I test this deck out, I'm probably going to hop into an, ex I'm going to build a Garchomp Giratina Bats deck. I've had a few requests for that on stream today. We're going to build that deck after this game. The Behem deck is pretty good too. Yeah, yeah, there's Behem. Yeah, Behem is pretty good. Um, I guess there's like Pidgeotto Control, which doesn't essentially use tag teams, but it doesn't really try to win in the same way of taking all your prizes. Yeah, there's the Necro, yeah, Giratina Malamar. I completely forgot about that deck too. Spirit Tomb, I guess, is also good, but yeah, tag teams just kind of dominate the format because I don't think we'll ever see Malamar and Spirit Tomb and Behem, you know, ever rise to the top of the meta in forms of like, oh, these are the decks to play. These are the best decks in the game. Same with Quagnag. So it's like you just play tag teams or bust. Compared to meta decks, non-GX strategies are way less viable. Yeah, that's that's one of the sad things too about this format is non-GX Pokemon are just trash. All right, we'll uh, play this. Get Luxio. Yeah, that's the other problem too. Non-GX Pokemon are just kind of... They just don't really work right now in the game. And it is unfortunate. It is pretty unfortunate that, you know, non-GX decks can't really thrive right now. But it's Pokemon for you. They just... They want these tag teams to... Because tag teams sell a lot of money. That's literally why they uh, printed tag teams in the first place. Is because they make, they make them a lot of money. They do make Pokemon a lot of money because it's like, oh my gosh, you know, you know, 12-year-old Timmy No Thumbs doesn't know how to play Pokemon competitively. He opens up a pack of cards that his mom buys him from Walmart, and he pulls a Reshiram and Charizard GX. He screams and freaks out because it's, you know, it's Charizard. Oh my god, Charizard's the coolest, best Pokemon ever printed. It's because tag teams make Pokemon a lot of money. They're going to keep pushing them, and they're going to keep marketing them, and they're going to keep making them really good. That's that's quite it. 3-0 with Giovanni. Discard a Moltres, bruh. Oh, what do you mean, Gary? Honestly, I think a Brooklyn Hill Aquapatch reprint. Yeah, I think Brooklyn Hill and Aquapatch should come back. Sadly, Brooklyn Hill never got reprinted as its full art stadium form. It's a alternate art, which is stupid. It's like, give us Brooklyn Hill. Water types are like the only thing that can stand up to these stupid fire types. And you, know, you can't do anything about it. I'm actually, yeah, Blastoise Tag Team is going to be really nice. Um, yeah, I think Blastoise Tag Team with Quagnag is going to be the new face of Quagnag. That card is really good. I prefer to play Expanded. I hate Standard recently. Yeah, I've been the same, Timmy. I've found myself playing a little bit more expanded. Standard's just kind of, it's wishy-washy. But it is fun to play a deck that can easily take out tag team decks, and then you just play against something but tag teams. It's a good feeling, but yeah, expanded is usually, it's usually the format I play the most regardless, especially when I'm trying to grind the ladder or do tourneys. Just bring back a few Pokeballs. Non-GX hard to set up. Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing, too. Non-GX decks are already harder to set up. Moltres top burner with Welder and Rhydon. Oh, I see. That'd be interesting, but kind of hard to build. A lot of uh, a lot of things you gotta run in there. Expanded is becoming standard because tag teams will rule, but expanded has so many good decks. Though I feel like I feel like it doesn't really matter. All right, let's see if he wakes up. Hey, looks like we got an easy prize. I see a lot of people sleeping on friend ball. Yeah, friend ball is a pretty powerful card. But yeah, the thing with expanded though, Madzen is like there's so many good decks that can take out tag team decks. I don't ever think tag team decks are ever gonna rule expanded. I actually think tag team decks are not that good and expanded in general outside of maybe Pika Ramen, maybe Mew 3. But Mew 3 has Garbodor, Muck, and Power Plant, and Silent Lab, and Shadow Stitching to watch out for. You gotta consider like Night March, Vespaquin, Greninja, um, just to name a few, are some of the good decks that can take out tag team Pokemon. I don't think tag team Pokemon are that good and expanded. I really don't. Archies are playing Mew 3. Yeah, Archies Mew 3 is pretty good. Ooh, thank you for the new hand. Substrike so actually wouldn't be bad to put in this deck either. Probably would consider that. There's a Mew. That's that's gonna be nice to uh, take out the Spear Tombs. I'm hoping Shorn Steels give uh, will fix standard and bring back important stuff. I hope uh, Ultra Ball gets reprinted so I can use Secret Ultra Ball again. Um, DC I think is a card that should come back too. Even though DC would make stuff like Mew Three a little more broken, but like I really think DC is healthy for the format because there's a lot of stuff that can work with DC that can take out tag teams, but without DC they're you know, they have to rely on Welder to set up, which is, you know, not the greatest thing in the world. Alright, we need to play this Memory Energy. We'll probably just build up a Luxray in the background. We can, like, Luxray. Let's see what we draw. And the Shinx is always good. We need to find more of our forests. 
get that Luxray. Could you turn board here? Don't hate that. Go into Luxray here and Volt and uh. But it, I don't think it actually matters. I'd rather keep this guy alive. He might even just welder cart cart cart. I almost just said my sponsor name. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, he might just cavern counter me. I'm hoping short and yeah. I'm trying this uh, Tina uh, Tina Chomp Garb deck. That's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like the White Karen Garb deck. Yeah, Archie's uh, Bulge and Mew Three Damage Change is unbeatable. Yeah, Damage Change Mew Three is insane. Sky Return Mew Three is also ridiculous. Uh, Junk Hunt better too now. Yeah, that's true. Sableye. One other Entei Welder Chip Chip 200 damage easily. No, I didn't consider that either, Gary. Yeah, so there's all these little combo cards that you just never think about. All right, he's running low on stadiums. He's played two so far. Yeah, we maybe build that Entei deck. I don't even know what what Entei's from. What team up or Lost Thunder? Oh, he just concedes. Wow, Luxio beat him. That's actually impressive. I did not expect this Luxio deck to win a game against that deck. In all honesty, especially because we're weak to fighting. All right, let's build this Tina Chomp deck. Let's do this. Let's build Tina Chomp. So we should probably play... We could probably get away with two Tina Chomps because we can play Mew 3 in the deck. Actually, no. No, we should probably just go 3. Screw it. Yeah, 3 is probably the way to go. Uh, we need our batty boys. The bats. We'll play 3 Crobat. We'll play 3 Golbat. We don't need to go insane on the bats, in my opinion. We can probably get away with a 4-3-3 three, three line. And let me know if you guys have any other suggestions of stuff I can put in this deck, obviously. Double Dragon Energy. And we can get away with Fight Energies because then we can uh, uh, then we can beat um, Pika Ram and Zoark and stuff like that. Baby Entei, yeah. Sableye is a lot better. Yeah. Suggest Aerodactyl from Team Up with Pokemon Research Lab. Yeah, Crash, I, I do have an Aerodactyl Malamar Slowking deck built for standard. Tina Chomp, the Mew 3 Damage Change Agree. Yeah, it could be interesting in this deck. I think I'll go Double Dragon Energy for this build. Psychic Team Pro. Hmm. LDF Much Love Homie. Yo, A D V G Y M. How you doing, brother? Thanks for stopping by on the stream, man. I do appreciate you, dude. Is there any value in Lando? I li I've always preferred Landorus over Buzzwool because it's not weak to Psychic, and Psychic is so good. But, like, L Buzzwool at least can use Absorption. But we're never going to play Beast Ring. I was a Fight Attack and Spreader. Yeah. Okay, we'll go four Fighting, four Double... Five Fighting, Double Dragon... We don't ever want to have a turn with Whiff and Energy. This can kind of turn to like a mini Lando we bat deck. We can we can play Buzz. We're not gonna play Dante Prism Star because we don't really need it. Uh, we can go Baby Buzz. We can play like Landorus. We're gonna need this guy. Uh, we'll play one or Corio just for the Night March. And I think that's fine. We can maybe play like Mister Mime. Here, I guess we can play Ditto Prism in the deck too. Giratina as the baby attack. Never mind. I see your energy. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. So we can play four treasure, which is always nice. We can either go three or four. I might split the difference. Nah, let's go four. Screw it. We'll go four. Go comp. Comp or scoop up. Dowsing Machine 2 wouldn't be bad. Let's go scoop. We'll definitely play one ace roll on this deck, too. These are just some of the normal stuff. What stadium should I play? Let me know. Should I play Dojo or should I play something else? Um, okay, so... I might actually go with Power Plane just for the Mew 3 matchup, to be honest. And we'll go 1 in. We'll go Cynthia. I actually am not a fan of playing a lot of Junipers, so I don't know if I want to... Actually, there's another staple card I forgot. Special Charge. How many... Juniper should I play? Probably just three. I don't really like playing Juniper in decks like this because I don't ever like Juniper and stuff away. We'll play one rod. Go with a stretcher rod split, maybe? Or just play the rod. I don't really know, in all honesty. Uh, we need Versus Seeker. Let me know other stuff I could add to the deck. I see no reason not to run four treasure. Yeah, I think four treasures, yeah. Four treasures is pretty good. So here's what the list is looking like. What else could we add? I'm starting to maybe think of six energy just because I never want to have a turn where I whiff energy with this guy. 
I'm actually not a fan of attaching double dragon energy early before I attach my other energy first because it might get E hammered. You could probably go down to one juniper at chorus. Yeah, 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 chorus, chorus. Chorus could be good. We'll go two junipers. We'll play two Cynthia's. Uh, we need two cards. Uh, we'll play belt. We're doing an insane amount of damage anyways. We really don't need. Um, we'll play one float. Uh, should I play like, um, uh, should I run a Ranguru in the deck? This deck seems solid. I faced it ladder, not bad. Yeah, David. We'll see how this goes. Special charge, yeah, it's already in the deck crash. We got that boy in there. Um, could I play Noivern? Could I play, could I play like one Ditto, one Noivern? Could I play like Giratina, uh, EX maybe for Chaos Wheel? What else should we put in here? We have seven slots available. Might want to add Guzma. Oh, yeah, shoot, yeah. Guzma, forgot about that. All right, we'll play uh, we'll play two Guzmas. What else? So we got five slots available. You can pivot with Crobat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, bats. Okay. So we need stadiums. What stadium should I play? Should I play Parallel? Should I play Power Plant? Should I play Sun Lab? Maybe. I kind of like the idea of maybe playing a couple Power Plants, just for the Mew Three matchup. Mew Three is really popular in Expander right now. Uh, I should probably play a couple powers. Let's do it. Let's play two power plants. Let me know if you guys like power plant. Okay, so we got three spots available. I can maybe run more dragon Pokemon. I could play... Um, I could play more stuff. I could maybe run a level ball just to find bats easier. Power plant could be good, I'm not sure. The thing I like about power plant is it's only going to shut down energy wonder tag, but that's not even a big deal. Seems good, yeah. So we got five slots available. What should I add? Should I add another draw supporter for consistency? Uh, what other stadiums do you think we could put in here, though? Uh, actually, I'll play one nest ball. I'll play a nest ball. That's probably a good idea. Just run number one. Okay, we need field blower. Forgot about that card too. We'll uh, we'll play one blower. Hey, LDF. Uh. What do you think about a deck with a Alolan Raichu from Unify Minds with Electro, Rain, and Dragonair from Sun and Moon with Dragon's Wish? It could be interesting. Obviously, the main issue with that deck, though, is Dragonair isn't in standard anymore. So that would be an expanded deck, and I don't really know how it would work. Devoured Field? Okay, yeah, Devoured Field could be pretty good. Dev Field, the attacks of things. Devoured Field seems pretty good, actually. And that may actually do 170, which allows us to knock out Lele. Alright, this is looking decent for the list. What do you guys think of this list? What else should I add? Should I remove the stretcher and keep the rod instead? Should I add a fourth gold bat? Should I take it? Should I throw in another field blower maybe? I could run one strong energy for the fighting boys. Is there any other fighting types I could actually put in here? I might have forgotten a few fighting types. I could run a dojo and I'm actually starting to consider that. Because then dojo with a fighting furry belt would actually then let me do 180. Dowsy Machine. Yeah, the Dowsy Machine scoop up. It. I mean, I like Dowsy Machine, but I think scoop up Cyclone would be better just to reuse the bats. But, like, I do like the idea of playing the Dowsy Machine. I don't know. I want to find a way to find our fight energies a lot easier. I'm starting to consider a professor's letter just literally for the, for the fact that I want to find a fight energy. I never want to have a turn where I whiff an energy on this guy. But let's just roll with what we got. Giratina bats. I do have a uh, expanded Deoxys uh, Giratina Skyfield deck built. Saw Donald make a video on that. So I was like, oh, that seems like a cool idea. Let's go. Now we'll play some Giratina bats. You don't need more bats. Yeah, I think we're okay with what we got. I have way too many decks. Holy cow. I need to delete half these decks, man. I got way too many. All right. Let's, let's do it. Let's see what Expanded is saying. That Total coin. Yes, it is a very beautiful coin. It's one of my favorite coins on this game. Probably my favorite, in all honesty. It's like such an OG, such an iconic OG coin. I don't know how much it's worth anymore. I got this when it was like 10 packs, 12 packs. It's probably worth a lot more now. I don't know its value. Karina could be a tech card just because you get a Pokemon and an item. But you don't have a lot of fine targets. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I could also throw in a... Um, 
I was I was considering running a one one muck line muck line too. We can take out the plants and throw in muck. Looks like he's playing a dragon deck too. Could be a mirror match. Hey LDF, uh, did you know Sableye with Quick Hunt is broken? Uh, you can you can get it any turn, not just first. Is it is it like broken, like glitched, or is it like that's the ruling on it? Because if it's like like that, I mean that is pretty cool. Because I know that Sableye I think saw play at Worlds in some of the Malamar lists. I mean, if that's the case, that is pretty OP. He's playing a Garboder Neuburn deck. Hmm. The Garboder is definitely a bit of a, a bit of a pain. He's definitely playing hammers and stuff too. That's something to watch out for. Yo, what's the best looking coin in your opinion besides the premium Pika coin? The Todal coin. The Cinequil coin is also pretty good too. The Cinequil and the Todal coin are my two favorite coins. What are your favorite coins on this game, guys? I know there's a Hydreigon coin, which is kind of like, you know, like the, the mascot of the channel. Ooh, he's playing that parallel a little early. Let's see what we draw. Bruh. <laughs> well, this is not a good start. This is not a good start at all. I like those two coins a lot also. Yeah, I'm gonna see what other coins I have. Yeah, let me let me know what your favorite coins in these games are, guys. And also, let me know what your favorite sleeves are. My favorite sleeves, hands down, probably would be these Charizard sleeves. I used to own them. Then I was an idiot, traded them off, and now I got them back. All right, let's see if my opponent's able to move this rubbish here. Okay, no Garbotoxin. That's a good sign, so we can get away with bats. Oh, uh, he could Sonic Volume me out of the game. If he Sonic Volumes me, we have to go with Baby Buzzle and Landorus. And the bats. That'd be pretty bad, actually. Hopefully this Garboder's stuck. Okay, good. So we, we survive another turn. Bruh. <laughs> Why must I draw bad? I like the Mega Venusaur sleeves out of those. Yeah, they're also pretty nice. I like the Blastoise sleeves. If I were to rank the sleeves, I'd go... Oh, I'm just going to concede. This is... Yeah, this game's going nowhere. I would probably say... um, I'd go the Charizards, the Blastoise, the Venusaur, and then the Charizard X sleeves. Because I don't even own them. I only have the deck box. I just never was able to get the sleeves back in the day. I love the Evolutions collection sleeves. The Generations collection sleeves. Yeah, they're pretty cool. There's a lot of sleeves in this game. I really wish they gave us sleeve bundles still in like the shop. I, I miss when they did that. It's kind of annoying that they don't do that anymore. Because that was such a cool thing. It's kind of, It was like Fortnite almost. You know, you, you would anticipate you know what would be added into the shop. And then they removed it some stupid reason which actually makes the game a lot less exciting to play because there's less features so i don't know why they ever removed that it looks like we're playing against greninja which is interesting calamitous slash or ggn sorry against greninja would actually be hilarious so does this need basic psychic three extra fighting so i think double dragon energy would allow us to do the attack oh what the heck whoa what am i playing against this is definitely one of those matchups where the bats would shine on these Magikarps. I actually am still yet to do a Blastoise GX uh, Team Up Blastoise video. I've had that deck built since like the new format and I never just got around to recording that. Okay, interesting setup. There's a float. Let's play this guy. Now, let me just turn the light on in my room. You gotta drink a water because I'm thirsty. All right, we'll get rid of these two. We'll hold the scoop up. Lele, don't be prized. Yeah, I, I maybe should have put a Ranguru in this deck. Um, that's fine. We'll just get a Zubat. Dang it, Lele had to be prized. I really like the red and white Zoark and Evelpel coins too, and the blue and pink detective. The, the detective Pikachu coin is pretty nice. They want us to spend that buck on trainer boxes to get sleeves. Yeah, I know it's because like they didn't make as much money off like the daily shop bundles, but still. Try to recreate an old lock deck yet? No, I haven't, Brian. I know that deck is kind of popular with Dust Talks. I want a similar quick play mode like TCG1 where you can use any card. I mean, they have unlimited, but limited is only friend battles. So I guess it doesn't really count. All right, let's see if he knocks me out here. No rare candy. No rare candy, Blastoise. Okay, Cynthia. kind of wish that was an N. Kind of wish that was an end, but whatever.
And oh, I didn't even see the war total. Rip. Reg Ice with Slumbering Forest. I've seen that deck too. I know Yellow Swallow made a video on those two decks. That does seem like a cool idea. I have my Luxio Mareep Slumbering Forest deck though, that I'm most likely going to be making a video on soon. There's some cool ideas. Alright, now we're in desperate need of finding something good. If we can draw an energy, I could actually GGN this off the board. My issue is I don't know what Gyarados he's playing. Is he playing the GX? Is he playing the other Gyarados that is still Blast 1? Another Zubat. Like, bruh. Okay, let's just bring in Sido Widow. <sighs> I hate not drawing very well. I guess I should have went for Lanier Attack, but there's no need for this to even be a thing. Come on. Am I seriously going to lose because of bad draws? Again? Well, a mode like it where you're able to play with any card without having to have it in your collection. Um, I mean, I don't know if they would do that because obviously they want you to spend money on the game and packs to get codes so that you can you know, get the cards you want. But I do wish uh, this game was marketable a little bit better. Marketed a little bit better. Oh, I'm weak to water? What? I thought I was weak to grass. Okay, can I finally draw something here? There's no threats in, on board, so if I'm going to have to go with Linear Attack if I don't draw very well. Oh my god. Bro, this is actually killing me right now. I mean, I guess we hit Blastoise. This is literally killing me. Oh my gosh, can I please draw something? I hate losing two bad draws. It is the worst feeling on the planet. Oh yeah, another question I want to ask you guys. Uh, do you guys own any Funko Pops? Um, it's a weird question, but I actually have a few here behind my computer. So I got this one. I got this Black Widow Age of Ultron one, EB Games exclusive. This one's rare. The box is in not the greatest condition, so I'm not going to be able to sell it back for its full value. But it's a pretty sick Funko Pop. My favorite one, though, right now is this Iron Man one from Endgame. It's 40 bucks. It's pretty sick. Um, I have some Walking Dead ones. If you guys watch The Walking Dead, I have Prison Glen. And I also have Daryl Dixon here. And I have a Thanos one, and I have another Walking Dead one. But my favorite one right now is this Iron Man one. So yeah, let me, know, let me know if you guys own any Funkos. It's a fun thing to collect. I like collecting stuff that, like, have value to them. Because, like, you know, you sell them in time, and then you get, you know, a lot of money. My brother has a lot of those pops. They're, yeah, they're fun. Uh, Groot with a gun? Nice. I was thinking about getting a Groot, because I saw a Groot from, like, Guardians of the Galaxy. But it wasn't very rare. I only really like collecting the ones that are rare, or unless they're Walking Dead, because my favorite TV show is Walking Dead. All right, can I draw something here to get me back in this game? Holy, dude, this is actually killing me right now. I can't even get Landers because it's not gonna do anything, <laughs> bruh. Oh my God, this is actually painful, guys. Holy crap. This is actually painful to watch. Man, it's so nice. It'd be nice to knock out that Magikarp, but, you know, we can't draw into Golbats. Yeah, I definitely wanted to have three Crobats in my hand, though, because it's definitely what I was looking for. Because Z Nation is the best zombie show out there. Yo, if your favorite show is Walking Dead, uh, only because you haven't discovered Z Nation. I have I mean, I've heard of that show, obviously. I've never watched it. I have Radical Edward from Cowboy Bebop and a Pac-Man one that is inside a box of Pac-Man cereal. Nice, Mad. Nice. That's the nice thing about Funko. There's a lot of, like, ones that are, like, exclusives. And then they have value to them. But mainly, I'm I'm trying to collect a bunch of Walking Dead Funkos, and I want to get a bunch of Marvel ones too. The next Funko that I was probably going to be on my wish list is probably I want to get um another, I want to get a Captain America one, and I also want to get more Walking Dead ones, obviously. All right, can we finally draw something to give us an out to winning this game? Come on. I mean, I'll take it. I guess it's something. I really should just attack the active, but I'm fine with this Articuno attacking me because it's not really doing anything. If I draw a Guzma, though, I can't even play, but I'm going to just knock this thing out. I just got to hope he doesn't hit a Gyarados and knock me out. This is so painful. I'm starting to think we should maybe run more supporters, but if we didn't prize Lele, we would have probably won the game by now. Should be low on energy. This guy's got 13 energy in play. No, of course, because he, you know, he's playing a deck that's not very competitive and good. He obviously is going to have like 19 energy in his deck. <laughs> it's one of those guys. All right, do not retreat this Articuno. 
do not get the Sardacuno in the active. Kragnal Lock is so nasty. I might have to try that out. I just don't want to, like, copy Yellow Spells list and then do a video on it. I mean, I obviously give credit to him, but I don't know. It doesn't really feel the same. Oh my god, bro. <sighs> this is so bad. We literally lose the game. I don't really think we can even win anymore. Lele. Finally! Oh my god. Have you made a VS Seeker? If you had a VS Seeker in hand, you'd be able to... You would have Battle Comp. Yeah, but like, Battle Comp serves no purpose in this deck, though. It's the only issue. Alright. Do not move this Articuno for the life of it. Do not move it. But finally, we're kind of back in the game. I don't know if we can win, though. I don't think we can win. He's literally one Guzma away from winning, assuming he gets a knockout with Draconic Disaster. Again, he's probably playing, like, 19 energy. He's one of those guys. It looks like one of those decks where, like, he just built it with what he had. And he probably... Oh, no, he doesn't have any energy. Okay, good. Maybe we're not out yet. I need to build those other Giratina in the background, by the way, is why I'm doing that. Okay, there's a goal bat. About time. Um... Definitely hit you. What else can I do? I can stretch her, get back to the Wudu. I have Sledgehammer turn. We can't do anything right now, though. Sardacuna might actually be stuck, so let's just hit this Gyarados. Okay, now the game's looking a bit better. Unfortunately, we can't Guzma this thing up. Kind of wish I had Escape Rope. Maybe we could run an Escape Rope in the deck. Nothing wrong with copying other great YouTubers, List Great Mice, Nickel, like, yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously, you know, some of the ideas I've had have been made by the YouTubers. I don't really care. It's like, you know, whatever. It's not like I claim the deck. It's not like there's a copyright strike on the deck. He actually just concedes because he can't move the Articuno. Oh, my gosh. We actually just managed to win that game because he couldn't retreat. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. Well, that game didn't really count as an actual legit match. Let's find another game. All right. We're up against, it looks like, potentially a Zoark deck. He has four Ultra Beast, four Treasure, no real value in Battle Compressor. Yeah. I could cut an Ultra Ball, though, in all honesty, because we already have the treasures, and I am running one Nest Ball in the deck, too. I mean, the deck still did well for us in that game. Ah, once again, we get a bad. Okay, I'm starting to consider running more supporters. I know VS Seeker is a thing in the format, but, like, I'm starting to consider just running, like, more supporters, because we just need more. I hate when people talk smack and net tech everything they build. Is it, net tech is like when you like copy the list exactly the 60 cards and don't change anything is that what that is i've never really looked into that obviously might be zoar checkmate that's kind of hard to beat because of the giratina all right so ultra ball weigh the bat don't tell me i prize lele a second game in a row okay good Look into linear attack with Zorua this turn. Could Juniper, there's no point. Let's see what Cynthia gives us. Hello, friends. Yo, Vincenzo. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we didn't find an energy, unfortunately, for the Giratina. That kind of sucks. Hmm. So he can knock out my Zubat with Energy Drive. I could belt the Zubat though, and then he can't do that, but... And then I can scoop it up. I mean, he'll still probably retreat, so it probably doesn't matter. Dang it, dude. That's unfortunate, though. No energy. This is why I want to play Professor's Letter, just so I can find energy for Giratina. If he's playing Checkmate, we don't obviously play the Mime or the Mew or whatever you want to call it. Or Choreo Tech. Or Choreo Tech, best card ever printed. There's the ice. I knew he was going to goose with me. Good thing we have the scoop up in our hand, though. Wait, did he not do trade? I don't think he did. That's interesting. No trade is interesting. Like, maybe he did. Maybe I'm blind. No, he definitely didn't. Don't whiff an energy. Oh my god. This deck doesn't seem to want to work for me today because I just can't seem to draw my energy at the right time. 
It's pretty frustrating, not gonna lie. I think I could just let him knock out the Zubat. I could evolve into Golbat, put 20 here. I guess we gotta do that. We'll get rid of a treasure, I wanna hold everything else. We have this treasure, we have the rod, I'm not too worried about having only one Golbat in play. Dang it, man. This deck is just not playing very well for me today. I don't know what it is. I don't think the list is bad. It's just PDC Joe's RNG is garbage. Hmm. This sucks, though. This really does suck. Ooh, you put one in gross. Yeah, Oracorio, it's a must and expanded. Not even just for the Night March matchup. It's just such a good finisher. It's like if your opponent has a bunch of Pokemon in the discard pile and you already have something heavily damaged, especially tag team Pokemon that have like 20, 30 HP, 40 HP left, you just slap an Oracorio down, you knock him out. That's why Oracorio is so busted. It's also good because its Revelation Dance attack can actually do good damage. Uh, you can't really get mad at net decking, teching. Most good deck players have the same core cards. Yeah. Okay. This is pretty unfortunate. I think... I don't think he's playing Skyfield. Well, I guess he still is. I don't know. Ooh, power plant. I like to see that. What can I do? Cynthia? Yeah. No Juniper. Not gonna do it. Okay. I, I was like, did I seriously just whip another energy? But we Gucci. And we got a set of Widow. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring in the Crobat because it can't get knocked out by Zoark. I guess we just keep spreading that damage out. We're gonna bring in this because it won't get knocked out by Zoark. And we'll pass. Not bad. And he has no room for a Lolan Muck, so the Soto Widow is going to be in play for a long time. Now he does have a blower. There goes my belt. The power plant bump is unfortunate to see. I'm starting to maybe just consider that we should play three power plants, to be honest. I'm starting to like the idea of three power plants. And before he plays Muscle Band. Okay. Wait, only 100 damage, huh? Oh, yeah, 120 with the full field. Why did I... I did my math wrong there, guys. I apologize. All right, we're going to have to get another bat here. How many Pokemon is discard? Well, two? Never mind. I was like, we could do some shenanigans or choreo. All right, now this is going to be the turn where we're going to Cynthia, because I am not... I guess I could have went for the Juniper, but you know what? We're going for Cynthia. I don't want to give her my first charge. There's a Double Dragon. Nice. We'll bench you in case he ends me. And claim to slash. A lot of damage. 260. Nice. Another power plant. You'll love to see it. Another energy. You'll love to see it also. Unfortunately, we don't have our sledgehammer turn right now. We're not probably going to be able to get it unless he knocks out Zubat or Crobat. But this ain't too bad. Yep, he just concedes. All right, the Giratina deck is winning games, which is pretty exciting. Now, I am going to change up this list a little bit because it's not drawing me very well. I'm going to I'm gonna throw, uh, throw in three power plants. Uh, that Devourad Field seems kind of bad. It's not really doing much for me. I could play a Silent Lab. Now, let's just, go, let's just go all in with our power plants, playing three of them. So, I want to run another supporter. What should I take out? Or should we just roll with what we got and just kind of do whatever? I think we'll be okay. Yeah, let's just go with it. Whatever. Could take out the Floatstone, maybe. Just rely on finding Guzma. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're up against my boy AGVGYM. But oh no, is the game not going to load? Uh-oh. Oh no, the game... Okay, good. I was like, oh shoot, is the game not going to load? Alright, my boy. Nice. Nice, nice. We're in for a fun game here, guys. Don't know what he's playing. But we are in for an exciting game. Because AD Video IM is the boy. The man. Um, oh, the Lele start with no supporter, though. Bruh. That's three games in a row where we're getting really weird starts. That's not good. I definitely should probably run more supporters. I might just go two power plants instead of three and just run in like a 
another Juniper. Maybe just throw in another N. I don't know. We could also play an Oranguru. Oh, a Buzzle. Looks like he's playing a Fighting Deck. Could be a Buzzgarb Shrine Deck. I've seen a lot of potential for that deck to work now, thanks to the fact that it can counter Mew3. It can also counter some other big decks, too. Now, AGV do I am. He has the bling. He has the bling, so he's going to out-bling me. Oh, he's playing Lucario. Okay, cool. I hate when the game freezes and not load. One problem with TCGO I've been running into lately. Yeah, Timmy, that is happening way too often. It's actually getting pretty annoying. It's been happening ever since, like, the Unified Minds and Fates update. Sometime around there it's been happening. It's super annoying, though. It's like, bruh. Especially when I notice the types are, like, what I want to see. And then the game doesn't load. And then I got to find another game. And it happens to be the abilities are a deck that I didn't want to see. So, this is actually a fine matchup. If he's relying on Focus Sash to, uh, obviously protect his things from being KO'd, we can break the Sash with the Bats. Which is pretty hype. So, this is definitely a matchup I like to see. But, yeah. We're in for a pretty good game, guys. They fixed trades, at least. Oh, did they? Did they fix the stupid trade, um, slowness lag? If they did, hallelujah, that was so annoying. It actually turned me off from just going trade sniping all together. Because half the time, I would accidentally click out of the trades, and then I'd have to reload them again. Holy god, that was the most annoying thing ever. So if they did fix that, praise the TCGO gods, because that was the most annoying thing in the world. That's a major problem I thought they would have fixed. Yeah, yeah, seems like it to me. Okay, good. If they fixed it, hallelujah. Because that, that glitch should not have existed in the first place. Alright, he's going to Ultra Ball. So sadly, our opening hand is not the greatest. We can build up a Giratina in the background, I guess. We can uh, Brookwood Hill for maybe uh, Landris. I actually wouldn't mind doing Hammerhead. Okay. I'm actually maybe maybe considering running the uh, Rem the Octillery in the deck. I don't know. I, I want to have a draw support Pokemon, so I'm starting to consider Ranguru or Remoraid. Okay, so we'll Brooklet. Hmm, I could get Buzzwool. Sudo Widow too. If I play Sudo Widow, can't bench as much. I don't really think the Sudo Widow matters too much. So let's just get the Landris. The treasure away. Thirst is Seeker. It's the only card I don't really see having much of worth in that hand. Chomptina. Okay, yeah, I forgot it had a nickname. Chomptina deck, yep. Playing my Chomptina. Okay, should I double Dragon Energy? Obviously, he's not playing Enhanced Hammer. I need the Energy of Landris. It gives me the option to do that if I need it. Okay, let's do this. We can Field Blower here, but I'd rather maybe get rid of more. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get rid of the Brooklet Hill. He obviously probably has, you know, something to go for next turn. So I don't think it matters. We'll hold the Field Blower. In case we need it. I don't think we need to blower him right now. But yeah, this Chomptina deck, honestly, we've been kind of getting a little unlucky with our draws and we're bricking a little bit, but the deck's winning games. We've won two games with it so far. So I'm liking the deck quite a bit. All right, there's a level ball. That can get my opponent a Octillery. Yep. Yeah, see, he's got the bling. He's got the bling, man. He's got it all. He's got Reverse Hall Octillery. I don't even have Reverse Hall Octillery. Choice Ban going on the Rock Ruff. So we do have to watch out for Dangerous Rogue. That's going to be a big issue for us too, is he can Dangerous Rogue me. That's one way he can clap this. So I'm, I'm at least going to try to make it so that I only have two bench Pokemon at a time. I could go three. I guess three is more still like safe, but still. I don't want to overcommit. All right, so I'm expecting him to potentially kill my Lele. He could KO me, obviously, if he gets Dangerous Rogue this turn, and he can knock out my Lele if he wants. He could also bring in and Sledgehammer for 50, maybe, if he finds Diancy on my Giratina Garchomp. No, he's going to float the Octillery. Yes, this is why I held the Field Blower, just in case something like that happened. And he's going to end me. Nice. We do lose that Blower, but it doesn't matter. He's giving me a new hand. Yes, please. He must He must, He must. must have known that I had a bad hand, lol. Um, okay. There's a Hollow Octillery. Yeah, I don't even have Hollow Octillery. I don't have a lot of these Shinies, mainly because I don't have any packs left to trade off. But once I get more packs, I'm going for Shinies next. Okay. 
Let's get a set of Wado. Actually, oh, I've got the stupid rock. All right, but who cares? Who cares? All right, so energy U, old Juniper. Mainly, I'm just trying to maybe chat up a Guzma for next turn. We'll play this, and we'll pass. Not going to play the bat down just in case, you know, Dangerous Rogue. I guess maybe I should have played the bat. I don't really know. Incomplete bling. I I know, I got the incomplete bling myself. I have mixed gear teams. I have a rainbow rare, a full art, and a secret rare. I almost have three crowbats. Let's see what my opponent gets here, though. Let's see what they get. And they're spreading out the energy. So it doesn't look like they're planning on doing Dangerous Rogue this turn. I wish we had a Guzma so I could bring in the uh, Rockruff and... Or maybe bring in the um, potential Octillery. Oh, he's going to Guzma me. What's he going to bring in? The Landorus. Interesting. If we could draw our scoop up here or a float, then I'm fine with that. I do want him to take a prize, though, just so I can bench a Zubat without having to worry about Dangerous Rogue. I kind of regret benching the uh, Suda Widow, but then I guess he can't bench anything else, so if he wants to, like, Lele here, he can't. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have benched the Suda Widow, though. He doesn't have Bloodthirsty Eyes right now, though, thanks to the Power Plant. That's kind of cool. He go he'll go for a Detect, maybe. If he does that, you know, he's going to jab me for 10. All right, we're going to try to Hammerhead him here. I guess we'll play this... I mean, we have 310 HP. The Odyssey Danger Rogues means not very high. No, we didn't get an energy. No. We unfortunately did not find a fighting energy. That is kind of sad. But we do have a Guzma for next turn and a treasure. So we can knock out a potential rock like an arc. We can also maybe try to knock out Lucario in the active if we can do something there. The fire energy whiff kind of sucks. I would have liked to have hit that rock rough for 30. Or even just hit break the other real loot so that he can't sash. So that kind of stinks. Alright, there's an Ultra Ball. Gets rid of Corio and Remoraid. Let's see what he gets. Getting Lucario. He could take a knockout here if he gets strong energy choice ban, 170. Strong Energy 140, 70. Yeah, so if you get Strong Energy Choice Band, uh, Landers will indeed get knocked out. Let's see if he has it. Something like a Karina would probably help him get there, because he just needs to find the Choice Band. So he probably has Strong. No, he's actually going to attach to the Rock Ruff. Okay, that's good. So he doesn't have the KO. So my ideal play here would be Guzma knock this thing out with Calamitous Slash. And I want to get another Giratina Garchomp on the bench and power it up, just so that we have another one ready to go. He could get the Lycanroc now, though, just because he probably knows that I might knock it out. It's a possibility. Let's see what he does. He could also just get another Lucario for next turn, anticipating an Ace Rolla, maybe. Yo, Dark, when did you start playing Pokemon TCG? Probably, like, back in 2010, 2009. I used to play in real life in my area. Um, and I quit playing in real life around 2013 just because I moved from my league and I didn't, you know, I didn't have a car at the time, so I didn't drive there. So I was like, whatever. Oh, he's going to blow away the plant and the Fighting Fury Ball. That's pretty big, actually. That will allow him to Lycanroc me, possibly, next turn. Is that our last belt? No. But, um... I've been playing ever since. I started playing PDC Joe in 2014, and I started making videos in 2015 or 20 late 2014, early 2015 is when I started making videos, uh, Pokemon TCG videos, and then from there, you know, I just kind of uploaded consistently. All right, does he have a switch? He could actually Dangerous Rogue me. Okay, Focus Ash. Okay, does he have it? No, he doesn't. Okay, good. Hmm. Let's see. Treasure. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we are going to Guzma that Lycanroc and knock it out. We're going to Guzma that Lycanroc and knock it out. It's the biggest threat on board. The main problem is he could clonk me with another Lucario. We got to be ready for that, I guess. 
Maybe we can treasure for another Tina Chomp. Could get Oracorio. He's got two, he'll have four Pokemon to discard potentially, but then he can always get them back. Alright, let's see what we draw off the prizes here. Mainly energy is what I'm looking for. I don't know if I prized any. Okay, we did. We did get a double dragon, nice. I might have to maybe go with Hammerhead for a few turns. I could also just go for a Skill Dive or a Swoop Across. Swoop Across would actually be pretty nice, too. But I do need the turn to build this thing up. Oh, he's bringing the Octillery. That might mean he might not have much here. So he can't play Tapu Lele, which is good. He can't Tapu Lele me here. No, he had the Float. Okay. Oh, he has Sledgehammer, 140. Oh, he's only doing 140 damage right now, though. So he needs to get Diancie, Muscle Band, or Choice Band here to KO my uh, Tina Chomp. Can we end him next turn? No, it's not in the discard. Rip. So if he gets the damage booster here, he can get the knockout. If not, we could maybe hit an Ace Rolla. All right, let's see what in the sun gives me. Okay, we got Via Seeker. We still got the Denergy. Pretty much the same hand, almost. One D-Valley would actually be kind of cute, too. So then, like, if you need the turn to build this guy up, you can, like, bring in Crobat or Golbat or Oracorio and attack for free. Some That might actually not be a bad idea, either. Nah, there's the knockout. Okay. So, Buzzle knocking me out is pretty unfortunate. Um... Hmm. It's not amazing, obviously. <laughs> I can go for a linear attack, doesn't seem very good. I really wish I could super cross. I'm really starting to wish I played a D Valley or two. I'm, I'm maybe a D Valley instead of two three power plants, fine. Two powers, one D Valley. I'm starting to like that idea quite a bit. Because a D Valley would be really useful right now. Just to swoop across or or a Choreo Supernatural Dance five Pokemon. See we draw. Another bat. I guess we'll bench it. No, we could discard. Or Corio, actually, screw it, whatever. Or Corio, you can go. We'll get that crowbat. And we'll hit the Lucario. That will give Mace Roll access, but as long as we have another bat ready to go. I could Guzma the Dion. See how many VS series he played. None. Wait. None. Yeah, no Via Seekers. Oh, of course. I mean, I kind of wanted to Guzma the Diancie, maybe. Play two floats already, right? So we have that going for us. Okay. Hmm. What could I do with this hand? I could scoop up the Lele, maybe. I could scoop the Bat up and then sacrifice the of Widow. We haven't found our stretcher or rod yet. That's kind of sad. So that makes me actually want to scoop this guy back up. Hmm. Oh no. We didn't get an energy either. Yes, I think I'm going to scoop this guy. I guess maybe I should have float the sort of widow, but I'm expecting him to end me again because my hand is absolutely massive, right? He's not gonna enter Guzma me here. I don't know. One thing I wish we had going for us is the energy. We just weren't able to really hit our energy early on, I think, because we you know we want to play aggressive, right? But yeah, I'm starting to maybe consider playing one copy of Dimension Valley in here so that we can use bats on the turn where we need to power up Giratina again. Or Tina Chomp, so that seems like a good idea. Starting to think that would be a good addition to the deck. We could also try to attack with Crobat too, essentially, because he can do a lot of damage, but because he's playing Ace Rolla, I don't think there's a point. Because we're never going to one-shot, right? So it's like not a big deal. But let's see what my opponent goes for. It looks like he's just going to settle for a Sledgehammer KO on my Widow here.
I don't think we. I mean, the only problem with Soda Widow being knocked out is you can bench another Rock Ruff, which gives him access to Lycanroc Wind. But I didn't really want to give up a Zubat. Considering we haven't played Stretcher or Rod yet, we can always get back that thing anyway, so it's not even a big issue. Okay, what do we draw? Not an energy. Okay, we'll do this. We gotta hit this guy. We'll get rid of the end. The end's kind of useless at this point. He has that Octillery. There's no need to end him. Alright, we'll go for a Chorus, and we gotta hope we find an energy here. And also a Pokemon Recovery thing would be kind of nice. Alright, we did find both. Nice. You can Stretcher. Get back Golbat, Sudowoodo, and Oracorio. Slam it a slash. Still going to be a bit of a hard game to win. He might even have game with Guzma on my Landris or Lele. We'll see. Well, I guess the Power in play. He can't do Bloodthirsty Eyes, but still, it's not good. We're not in the greatest spot. I could go for a GG end. We need uh, six energy, so we need another double dragon energy. We can go for a GG end. That would be pretty good, actually, to get a GG end off. Might try to set that up, possibly. GGN the Lucario and stuff. Maybe go for that. I wouldn't mind attacking with Crobat though at some point too. Crobat or Corio combo on like Octillery maybe, I don't know. He's already got six Pokemon there, so. Our damage output's looking decent. Like we could have a turn where we like Crobat this thing. Uh, he probably, you know, he probably has the game here. Is that 170 damage? 140, 160, 180. That's 180 damage, I think, with the strong energy, right? Or am I wrong? Well, he's gonna widow me. He might just have game here. He hasn't played a Via Seeker yet, so I gotta assume he has one to just Guzma knock out the GX on the bench. It is interesting we haven't seen the Via Seekers yet, though. Not even one has been played, so it's making me kind of suspicious, to be honest with you. It's making me a little suspicious. Well played. Ah, uh, yeah, that's game. He does have the obvious seeker. We'll give him the heart. Kind of unfortunate. Um, I don't know. I feel like our energy wasn't just hitting properly. Uh, we had a few turns. We just didn't find energy. But overall, the deck's still working. I'm definitely going to run a Dimension Valley in the deck now just so that we can have a turn to do Swoop Across or Skill Dive. Or or Choreo. So that does seem like a good idea. Yeah, you can just knock me out with Cyclone. Didn't even have to count or strike. Didn't have to count or strike. Rip. Okay. So, I thought this matchup wasn't going to be that bad, but yeah. I'm starting to really consider playing more energy now, too, just because it's like we're not finding our energy at the right moment. We'll uh, definitely change up the deck here after we get this dust main. Let's see. Deck manager. So, I do want to add that D Valley. That seems like a good tech idea. And I'll take out the Nest Ball, I think, too, for another supporter. Two ends. Or just play another Juniper, actually. I think this is fine. I still want to throw in a 10th Energy. Still, I don't know what to take out, though. All right, well, going back into Expanded with this with this deck. We'll do one more game, I think, with it, and... Uh, I don't know what to do after that, to be honest with you. I've already been streaming for nearly an hour and a half. So I don't know. If you guys have any ideas what to do after, let me know. Let a man know. Get into another game. Oh, we gotta play against a fairy deck. Bruh, what do you mean? That's a yikes. Unless the game doesn't load, that is a yikes. That is going to be pretty bad. Uh, we'll have to go with the Bats and the Buzzwool and the Landers and maybe the Lele on the offensive in order to really win this game. But man, that ain't good. Not what we want to see. Okay. Another Lele stop. Bruh. This. I feel like this deck hates me. All right. 
I'm not even gonna bother. That game ain't gonna end well. Our opening hand is also trash. We keep starting with Lele, bro. I feel like this deck is working, but man, our opening hands have just been trash. We can't find our supporters. We're starting with Tapu Lele, which we only have one of. Man, this uh, the deck ain't really playing very well for me, but... Or it's not drawing very well. I'm just breaking a lot. Okay. This could be a Mew 3 deck. That'll be interesting to see. Mew 3, I think we could beat because we can one-shot it pretty easily. And we have the two power plants. All right, so if we start with Lele for a third match in a row, I'm going to delete the deck. Okay. About time we actually got a good starting hand. Holy gosh. Holy cow. I think we'll do this. I don't know if I want to Juniper Cynthia. I'm not really a fan of losing those bats because they are important, but at the same time, I don't really care. I was lucky, and uh, that was your Lucario list with a baby buzz. Nice. Yeah, that was a good game. That was a good game, dude. GG. I was trying to set up maybe a Calamitous Slash if you didn't have the Guzma for game. I saw that he didn't play a single VS Seeker up to that point, so I was like, hmm, maybe he doesn't play VS Seeker in the deck. But yeah, GG, dude. G, a G. And just a Kiawe to a Jirachi. Okay, he's probably playing Ninja Boy then. Night right, Trooper. Screw it. I'm going for it. Alright, War Tree. Uh, I definitely want a treasure here. We'll get rid of a fine energy. Get another bat. So we can perfectly do our hand next turn. We can float the buzzle if it doesn't get knocked out. Double dragon. Treasure our top deck for a gold bat, maybe. We'll see if he ninja boys. I'm expecting a ninja boy here, because I don't really see why he would have just Kiawe to a Jirachi. Unless like he just had a bad hand. Which I guess he did. He just concedes. Okay, well. We're winning games with the deck, but not really winning them at the same time. <laughs> we're just getting concedes before we really get to take any prizes. Alright, well. Going into another game with the deck. Getting into another game. I might end the stream after this game too. Someone just walked in my front door. But yeah. It's a it's Tina Chomp batch deck. It's been, it's been fun. It's been fun. If you guys have any more deck suggestions, I don't know if I'll be playing on them stream, but you know, I can always build them and then kind of look into them in my own time and then maybe make a video on them. But I expect to see a Tina Chomp video, I guess, in like the next couple days. Possibly, um, possibly Friday? Friday or Saturday? Because I just did an expanded video. It's taking a while to find a game. Okay, you know what? Hopefully we don't get put into a game because the game is glitched like that. But I'm actually going to uh, be right back. I am going to just... I need to go talk to someone right now. So I'll be right back in just a, a momento. How do I... I'm trying to figure... I'm trying to see which one is the mic. Okay, there we go. So I'll meet my mic and I'll be right back in just a moment. Okay, we're back. Um, okay. Uh, let's do one more game with the deck. We haven't really gotten, like, a full-on, like, actual, like, good long match with the deck yet. So we'll see if we can do one more game. We'll see. All right. We're playing against a water deck. This could be Greninja. Greninja is interesting, I think. It's not terrible, but not great. Somewhere in the middle. 
Oh, that's a bad hand. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Juniper away, Stretcher and Rod. Oh, boy. You don't like to see it. All right, what's he playing? Spell tag? What the? Oh, it's Rodom. Rodom is um actually pretty easy thanks to its low HP stuff that bats can take out. Draw an extra card. Why not? Oh, an energy. I mean, if we could draw a treasure, we could like Rod, Double Dragon, go from there. Or no, he's playing a Sigilift deck. I have no idea. I think it's Rodom, but it also might be some other random deck. It could be a Malamar deck. Welder? What the heck, bro? What do you mean? Okay. Hmm. Well, that just happened. Show deck list? Yeah, I will after Eric. And we'll show the deck list. Okay, we drew a treasure. Okay. So this is kind of weird. Um, we got Zubat. I could just hold the hand, to be honest with you. It just knocks this thing out next turn. Which I think I'm going to go for you never know, we can draw it, we can get end, and then we don't have to give up these Stretcher and Rod, which I'd probably, you know, prefer not to discard, because they are pretty important cards. A Dewblade coming down. Okay, so this is not a Rodon deck, it's something else. Hmm. I might have to GGN this thing, because, like, Clam to Slash would do 160. We might knock ourselves out because of that ability. We have to find a Power Plant, actually. So that's that. If not, I mean, I'll just GGN this thing, which is fine by me. We're either have the power plant or GGN this Sigilith to get it out of the way. Because it's kind of a problem. We do so much damage to Clamity Slash, we'll just knock ourselves out because of its ability. So I'm definitely not regretting that power plant inclusion, though. Okay. Sonic Wing. Okay, we drew a belt. We'll play that. We'll gold bat. Doesn't really matter what I hit here. Uh, I guess we just hit this thing. I don't really know. We're probably, gonna, again, we're just going to go for a Calamitous or GGN. We'll super raw the energy back because why not? And we'll see if we can get a power plane here. If not, we got a GGN this Sigilith. No, we got a handful of energy. Okay, well, GGN it is. Well, I guess I can do 170. But then he does 50. Yeah, I think I just GG end. I can't really afford to take damage here. So I think we just GG end this thing. Alright, that seems good. Because he honestly could just knock me out with Pierce. 50 damage. 170, 50. Huh, let me do the math, actually. If I was off, then my bad, but still. 230 minus 170 is 60. So I would have survived with 10 HP. Man, yeah, whatever. It's fine. I think the GGM play was still fine just to get that thing off the board. He's playing Tool Drop. Yeah, he would have knocked me out probably like with the Dewblade anyway. So yeah, it didn't matter. Okay, just a pass. It doesn't have much. That's good to see. There's a Crobat. So we can knock that out with Crobat Goldbat. We'll still hit it anyways, I guess. We'll attach to this thing and we'll Cynthia. I could Lanier knock him out. Yeah, let's Lanier knock him out. The Mewtwo's like literally not a threat, so bye bye, Dewblade. I'm not really playing against a super competitive deck, it looks like, but whatever. It is what it is. That's Pokemon TCG Online for you. I don't really see how I can lose this point. Even if he, like, yeah, he just concedes. Cool Beans. <laughs> well, that's that. Um, Yeah, this Giratina Garchomp Bats deck is pretty good. Um. Let's go back to standard though. So we got some games with the deck. Deck did pretty well. Had some fun with it. Uh, let's play another game with this Luxio Slumbering Forest deck. Because why not? Um, I'm liking the deck idea. And I'll record so I can get it in a video. Or I guess not. I don't really know. Uh, Robot Builder. Okay. So we're going to try this Luxio Slumbering Forest Mareep deck. And then I might just end the stream after that. It's almost been an hour. It's been over an hour and a half. So I'll probably end the stream after this game. And yeah, that is that. But yeah, it's been a fun stream, guys, for sure. The, the Tina Sean Bass deck looks pretty epic. So yeah, expect a video on that soon. And yeah, we'll go from there. But the Mareep starts nice. 
He's got the World Sleeves and Deck Box, so he is definitely a good player. Hey, yo, Trent T, dude, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Um, right now I'm playing my Luxio Mareep Slumbering Forest deck. Don't know how good it is, but we're going to try it out. And um, it looks like we're up against either Mew 3 or a Blastoise or a Quagnag deck. Could be Quagnag 2. Could also be Frostless Spirit Team. I don't really know. It, it seems like it's something. And i got to clean my glasses here. Hold on, guys. I'm going to clean my glasses off. They have smudges on them. Okay, we're good. My vision is back to normal. Okay, so it looks like it is a Mew 3 deck then. Good, good. Yeah, All right, that's nice, Trent. That is nice, brother. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Is this Mew 3? Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, no. It looks like he's playing Naganadel Checkmate, which is a weird matchup for sure. I don't, actually don't know how I feel about that. Um, so we're already not really very much taking many prizes, so like... It's hard to take prizes, and if he, like, resets it with Stinger, that could be pretty bad, actually. So this matchup might be a little bit of a challenge. I think Ampharos GX might actually be the MVP here, if we can actually get it. it. Could just be a Beast Box deck, though, too. It might not even be the Checkmate deck. No, it is a Checkmate deck. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Cynthia, our hand's kind of bad. I could have maybe attached to the Marie. We could always go into a Shinx and a Luxio turn one. Nope. Not with this hand, though. Now, this is Fluffy Pillow. I'm not going to bother the Slumbering Forest. There's no point. I don't think we'll get knocked out next turn anyways. I feel confident Mareep will live. Even if it gets knocked out, who cares? We have another Mareep ready to go. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't want to play this Forest, because, you know, he would have played an Ultra Space. We can play that and get a potential Zerka Tree. I could actually play Unergy in this deck, and I could maybe play, like, Nyla Higo, maybe. That's not a bad idea. Maybe play that. That could be kind of cool. Play Natalie Higo in this deck. Because, like, we're playing more of a budget build. And because we have all these, you know, the only GX we have is, like, that Ampharos. But, like, it's not always going to be used. So it's actually pretty easy to get our Nightcap turn. So maybe I could play a Nyla Higo in this deck and instead play four unit energies. And then I'm going to have to take out the Tapu Coco Prism, though. So I don't really know. Alright, let's see if he feels his bench up here so I can go for an Erica's Hospitality for a nice big hand. Or if he'll just keep it how it is. He's going to Ultra Conversion that Fermosa way, most likely. Which is fine. I honestly don't know how we beat this matchup, though. Oh, he's just going to Steven's Resolve. I don't really know how we beat this matchup because of the just awkwardness of Stinger. Our damage output's already low, so it's going to be a little difficult. I do think Ampharos GX, though, is going to be the main attacker at some point. Like, Ampharos is one of the only things that can maybe take down these Nagas. We'll see what we do. So, Ultra Space for Zerka Tree. I might even hold off on the Erica because I still want him to fill his bench up before I play it. So, I'm tempted to hold off on playing the Erica. But I do need to get Shinx and stuff, so I don't really know. Or we can draw a Lily instead. Okay, we'll get Zerka Tree. Ampharos is there. We do have a Rare Candy, that's important. Get that Zerka tree, slap him down, I guess. Play this. A Lily for two. Now I regret benching the Zerka tree. Alright, we'll just fluffy pillow then. Hi, yo, Angela. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Yeah, right now we're just playing this Luxio um, Slumbering Forest Mareep deck I have built. The Disconnect Item Locks Luxio. Um. This might be the last game of the stream, though. I've already been I've been already streaming for over an hour and a half. So this might be the last game, depending on how it goes. We're up against a Checkmate deck, which is going to be a little tricky to beat. So we'll see if we can take it down. We do have an Ampharos Jackson deck to maybe come in and take the big knockouts on these Nagas that we need. Because Luxio's weak attacks aren't really going to be doing it. And we do have Lucimine, so I'm not really too concerned about using these Force. That's why. I was like, I, we might as well just play it down, even if he bumps it. It's really as long as this is asleep. And I want to hold that Erica's hospitality. Keep playing. I wish I could, Jay, but I've already been streaming for, all, for all, basically an hour and 40 minutes, and I'm also kind of tired. Um, so I'll probably be take, going, to, going back to bed after this stream. And then I'm going to try and record a video. At least two more I just got on. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jay, man. I'm just, I'm kind of burnt out and tired right now. I've already been streaming for an hour and 40 and talking. 
Hmm. Still do this. We'll st I gotta play this, man. I don't want to play too early, but I gotta play the Erica, and I can't. I don't want to waste a switch right now. All right, where's the Shinx at? There we go. Shinx, he's pretty good too. We got the U-turn board. No fluffy pillow. For no reason at all. Yeah, I wish I would stream Jay, but yeah, I'm I'm forget I'm tired. Pretty pretty much I got I finished school, got home, and I was like, yeah, I'm in the mood to live stream and uh, play some decks, maybe get some deck suggestions, which we did. We actually got some pretty cool ones. And um Yeah. I need to go back to bed though after this. I've been talking, my voice is already kinda on the side of being gone. And there's another Stevens Resolve. Alright. I don't know what my opponent's really trying to set up here in all honesty. Do you have a Twitch account? And if you do, what it's called? Well, it's a little dark fury, but I don't stream on Twitch just because I don't know. Like, I know you know Twitch is like the big thing right now in terms of you know streaming. YouTube is kind of dwarfed by Twitch's platform, but like, I, I Twitch to me trying to set up a stream and all that it's just kind of complicated. I'd rather just keep it simple, stream on YouTube, and then just have the videos be uploaded to YouTube after. So that's why I've always been kind of down to stream on YouTube. But I do maybe want to stream on Twitch. I don't know though. I'll do this. Get the Luxio. Do this. Play this. Well, Lily. Not much, though, to be found. So we'll just disconnect then for 30. No electro powers, sadly. We should stay asleep, though. That's a nice little budget deck, though. So yeah, I expect a video on this. Maybe tomorrow, to be honest. I might might make a video on this tomorrow. No, there's a stadium bump. That's fine. So we can knock out the Mars Shadow. He can't do resetting hold to get rid of Slumbering Forest, which is also an option for him to counter the Slumbering Forest. So that is something good, I guess. That is something nice. So, I mean, if he switches here, he could take a KO with that, that Naga, or he can Hoopa me. We already have four abilities in play. But if he falls a Ditto, he might not be able to get Dugon in play. Dugon is the only thing I'm kind of scared of. I suck I had to waste that reset stamp so early just to do an Erica, but I don't know. That last game, he didn't know what to do. I think he had a new deck. Yeah, possibly, Jay. That's, that's a pretty common trend in Expanded is like, you know, the decks aren't really the greatest in terms of competitive viability. Counter the Stadium. Touch here. Do this. So pretty much right now, we are indeed looking... We'll get the Luxray. We're looking for... Um, we're looking for an Electro Power to knock this thing out. And the quicker I can knock out the Marsh Shadow, the better. What's your power? Okay, good. We got Lucimine. That's pretty good. So we want to get this out of the way so we can't reset whole my uh, Slumbering Forest. Take our prize. Another Slumbering Forest. Nice. So we'll probably Lucimine next turn for Erica Lily. What does Luxio do? Uh, Luxio basically states... Your opponent can play an item, so it's Quaking Punch for one energy, but with Lightning types, you have Electro Power. And basically, I'm trying to combo this with Mareep, so we can try to like put them to sleep with Summering Force and Item Lock them, so there's no way to actually switch out of it, so they're forced to either wake up or play Dawn Wings or something. That's pretty much the idea of the deck. It's a bit of a slow deck because its damage output is really bad, but I have an Ampharos GX in the deck, I have a Zerka Tree, so I have some turns where my damage output is, you know, a little higher. But yeah, that's the idea of the deck. I mean, we mainly want to play against tag team decks. I wouldn't mind maybe playing Judge in here. Um, we could like try to Judge and then put item lock them. So I don't know. Maybe that should be an option too. I don't know. I'll definitely tweak this deck. But so far the list is going okay. He's only gonna do eighty. He is two shotting me, which is a little annoying. But this is gonna be the big turn. We go switch Marie. Count of the stadium. Pokecom away the ditto. Yep, Alexia. How many summers do we have? One. Play that. 
fluffy pillow. Lieutenant Surge would be good in here. Lieutenant Surge, Lusamine with Tain Liza instead of having to rely on Switch to go. Fluffy Pillow might be a good idea too. Uh, we'll get back a Forest and an Erica. We're just playing the slow game. I think I just bring this guy in. Whatever. See if he's asleep. Are you si Bruh. This guy wakes up. Oh my gosh. Actually, I don't think he is getting... No, yeah, because we evolved, right? So he's not getting a knockout. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I think... Yeah, he's only doing, what, 60 now? Because we got rid of the shanks. Not bad. Actually, maybe we should put a Tapu Fini in here, too, just for the blounds. Okay, there's... That should be his last stadium. Unless he's playing his own loose. I mean, I don't really... I've never really played these checkmate lists. I don't know. But yeah, that's their fourth Ultra Space, so that should be their last one. That should be the last one. Is Mew 3 the best deck right now? Uh, it's debatable. It's definitely the top three deck. I think like the best best deck right now is probably Ability Zard. Some people say it's not as good though, but I think Ability Zard is probably the best deck. Yeah, friend ball. We can get Ditto with that. I don't know. Go back into you, Erica. Really trying to find Rare Candy Ampharos. Okay, there's Ampharos. Still no Electro Powers though. I don't know where they're hiding at. We have 10 HP. I mean, might as well bring this in. Just so he just can't do any shenanigans with Mew and Stinger down the road. You never know. Might as well just play this. So we can get Ditto. But I'm not actually going to grab it. Oh, we prize for the Lusamine. So we got to get a prize here to get that Lusamine. Disconnect for 30. Do not get double heads again. What? what? Bruh, are you actually kidding me? Oh my gosh, that is a joke. This guy got double heads. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, when are you going to get... Uh, uh, when you going to get it back one? Wait, what do you mean, Jay? Do you mean like when am I going to stream again? Jeez, this guy's so lucky though. Stupid Hoopa. Stay asleep. Holy cow. That's pretty, pretty annoying. Not going to lie. That's pretty annoying. All right. Back to basics, I guess. Okay. You turn you. Bench the ditto. Lily for two. Fluffy Pillow. Still no Electro Powers. Don't know where they're hiding once again. We need them to knock this thing up. But we get one next turn, we can knock out the Hoopa. And we'll disconnect him for 30. I, if he got six heads in a row, I would have just thrown my computer out the window. That would have been no, no, that's a no bueno. He's getting low on cards too. He's got five cards. Left. Never mind, he plays Brock's Grip. So I think really to close the game out, we just need a rare candy into this thing and then go for Impact Bolt, which uh, can take out these things. When are you going to get back on? Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to stream again, Jay. Uh, it's just hard for me to find time to stream, especially now with school being back up. But like Wednesdays is when I only have class from 10 to 12. So that's why I was like, eh, I feel like streaming today. I'm not really that tired. So, I, you know, might as well stream. I didn't also really know what to record a video on until like, you know, now. Now I really know. And I, and I have a few, you know, decks I can do for a couple more videos. So I don't really know what I'll be streaming next year, unfortunately. 40 HP. Okay. I've been trying to make an Unified Minds Little Marowak deck, but I keep seeing failing any tips. Well, if you play a Little Marowak, the best way to play would probably be with, like, Chip Chip Ice Axe and Hiker, so you can know what they're going to drop. But the only problem is, is they might, you know, have an answer, but you can also maybe Surprise Box, put something back in their hand, and then shuffle that back in the deck. So I don't really know. So do we Cynthia? I think we will. There's an electro power. Beautiful. And disconnect. <laughs> this is a long, drawn out game, but that's fine. All right. I know I prize loose me, so find it would be nice. No, Pokecom. 
Does someone want to to want to trade with me because I have a team up Jirachi? If anyone wants a team up Jirachi, there you go. What? What? Oh, what? Why is he doing dual blizzard? We have Mew in play. Confusion intensifies. This doesn't even KO me. I don't know why. Why would he do this? Very confused why he did that. Maybe he just didn't see the Mew. Maybe he's like, oh, those Mareeps. Low HP. Too bad. They don't work. He could custom one of the Mareeps up. Now he's going to tail Whammy for 60. There goes his triple. All right, let's play this. Pokecom Black of Shinx. Get Luxray. How many spores do I have left? Quite a few. Okay. No memory energy, unfortunately. So I'm going to hold off on playing that. I just basically wanted to get that other deck. And for 60. Oh no, I should have done Electro Charger. Why didn't I not do that? I should have Electro Charger. We can two shot this thing. Let's play some time. Yeah, for sure, Jay. I might do a viewer battle stream sometime down the road. Don't know yet. Like, usually when I'm on this game, I'm either just grinding the ladder to complete the wheel, complete the ladder, or I'm, you know, just recording a video and then I usually get off. But yeah, if if I do another stream, maybe I'll do viewer battles. Who knows? Who knows? I should have done Electro Charger, though. I think I still have Electro Power back in the deck, though. I still have one left, right? I don't know if it's prized. Oh, he's going to Grimsley me. He might be playing two. He could set up a kill on the Mew. If we lose Mew, that's going to be really bad. We could maybe Signal Beam. I could actually play the other circuitry with Confusion. That could be pretty fun. And he's dual blizzarding me. Feels bad, man. My opponent probably did not realize the thing. The Mew. Alright, let's see if we can knock this thing out. We are going to put him to sleep. Another energy. Okay. Fluffy pillow. All right, now we'll play the electro chargers. And get double tails. What a useless card. What a useless card. We need to really also get that rare candy Ampharos. Alright. Stay asleep. Nice. He might have a switch, but he had to like switch U-turn board this in order to redo dual blizzard. Oh no, he can't do switch, right? He's not enough derp. I don't know. It's really good that this Mew has been in play. We would have probably lost by now if he just kept blizzarding my Mareeps. Okay. Poipal coming down. I am a little worried about a Stinger deck out potential. Like, he could honestly, like, Stinger and reset my prizes and then, like, make it impossible for me to win because I'll just deck out. I'll just disconnect. Could have kept him asleep, but he might have a switch, so it doesn't really matter. Lusamine. No, Coco. We need to really get Ampharos. If we can get Ampharos in play, guys, we'll be in a good spot, I think. We really want to get this Ampharos in play. That's the goal. Wait, what? Bring in the Naga. That didn't make much sense. He doesn't have any triples. Wait, why would he bring in the Naganadol? Hmm. He's going to injection me. So he can give me a prize. He's probably going to put that Lusamine in the prizes. That's my best guess. He could put the Electro Power in there. Potentially, I don't know. I'm expecting Lusamine to be a prize. Yep, saw that coming. Now I have two Lusamines in my prizes. That means I can replay Lusamine, though, so I like it. Disconnect. I could have. Maybe I should just retreat in with Fluffy Pillow. But he hasn't played a switch yet, right? Yeah. You never know. He might. He probably contained Liza too. He knocks me out though. We can go three mirrors. Oh, no stinger. I like to see it. Hmm. Yeah, this is still a tricky game, I think, to win. I just want to get that Rare Candy Ampharos. 
That's not it. That does give me a switch fluffy pillow play, which is nice. I think we just go three mirrors here. Could play the Coco. I think I'll save it. He lives with 10 HP. Hopefully he stays asleep. Okay, good. I was like, no, you're not waking up again. Not going to happen. You are not waking up again. So what are the odds he has another Taint Eliza? He's got one. He's got Beast Ball. Man, this is going to be a long game though, guys. Holy cow. We might reach the two-hour mark at this point. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the last game, though. I'm getting burnt out right now, and I am tired. Just a pass. Okay, what do we draw? Memory energy is nice. Still no rare candy for Amphros, though. We really need to find that. Hmm. So... I actually find Signal Beam could be useful soon, considering we... Are we actually at a Luxio's? No, okay, we got one left. So we need to find a Luxio. We need to find that rare candy. But they're not coming out. I might try to keep him asleep, in all honesty. I think I'm going to try to keep him asleep here. Yeah. I'm going to try to keep him asleep. Because I just want to find rare candy Ampharos. We get this thing in play, I think we'll be good. The only value I see of knocking out the bu the buzzhole is that we can maybe get Lucamine, which would lose you know we can lose get back Cynthia, get back Lily. I don't know. As long as we have a switching card, we might be able to stall him out, and I don't know. Maybe we'll deck out. Who knows? <laughs> this is gonna be a, this is a weird game though. Holy cow! I didn't think this game was even winnable, but like we're kind of doing something, like barely though. Oh no, I guess like he could also Cynthia. I don't know if he plays it, but he can also Cynthia the hand away. I don't think we can deck him out. I think it's really down to taking all of our prizes. Or maybe he is going to deck out. He's forced to sh put stuff back in his deck. Unless he's baiting me, but maybe he actually might deck out here. Maybe he doesn't have any Cynthia's. Oh, he's going to stand me to four. That's fine. We still have, you know, you know, stuff to draw. We got an Electro Power finally. And he stays asleep. Hmm. I mean, I probably do want to keep this guy alive, so it's probably bad to keep him in the active. I think we just go back into Mareep. I think we'll be fine. Just keep Fluffy pillowing him. I don't think we can deck him out, but again, I'm just trying to buy time so I can draw into an Ampharos rare candy. Which, no signs of it so far. This is like, almost turned to a stall deck at this point. If I was playing Jesse and James, I would have won the game by now. I'm trying to think what else we could add to this deck, though, after this game. Oh, he's customing me. What's he doing? Bring it in the Mew. He wants that Mew knocked out. I got bad news for him. I have a switch. He still has another custom, I guess. So I guess we just Coco now, then. One here, one here. We need to get ready for that uh, possible Amphros GX play. He's probably confused why I'm doing that. So hopefully he doesn't expect it. No, he woke up. <laughs> this is a weird game, though. My gosh. It's like two slow, very drawn-out decks playing against each other. Holy cow. Ah, oh, man. I mean, I gotta assume they're playing loose. I mean, I haven't looked at these lists before. I probably should, though. You know what? Screw it. Let's look them up. Naganadel, checkmate. I need to see these lists. 
That is our, uh, that's one of our last Mareeps though. And I guess we still have more. Wait, why did I just bring this in? I'm not thinking. I'm going to concede. Why did I bring in the circuitry? Oh my god. I told you my brain was fried, guys. I told you my brain it was fried. Oh my gosh. Why did I bring in the circuitry? Oh, that was stupid. Bro, what the heck? Why did I do that? For some reason, I thought bringing the circuitry was a good idea. I feel like an idiot now, and that probably... Yeah. My brain is fried. I need to go and take a nap before I even record a video on this deck again. But you know what? Uh, this was a pretty fun stream. We got to play some new decks. Uh, this Luxio deck is pretty fun. I'm going to try and tweak it, though, before I record the video. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Uh, thanks for watching the stream. Guys, as always, make sure to go check out the sponsor, Car Driving TCG. If you're ever trying to get PCO codes, get them over at Car Driving TCG. Use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Thanks for tuning in the stream, guys. I'm going to go to bed now because... My brain is in fried mode. But thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate everyone coming into the stream today and checking it out. And I'll see you guys later.